What's going on YouTube? It is Black Shot back at it with another video for you guys today. So, I was requested to check out this video. It's called Top. Oops. So I was requested to check out this video. It's called Upcoming Remakes That'll Get You Pumped. Okay, there's nothing like a remake, but if it's good. Because, you know, they can remake shit and it's bad. Prime example, Nightmare on Elm Street that came out in 2010. I'm sorry. That shit was horrible. It was garbage. Disgusting. Okay? It was disgusting. I hated the movie. It was just... Let me tell y'all something. Y'all can get mad all y'all want to. No shade to the dude that played the remade Freddy Krueger. But can't nobody play Freddy Krueger like Robert England. End of story. People have played certain characters in the past or even now. And it was like it was made for them. Like, uh, I forgot the dude name that played the original Jason. Brad Dorf is Chucky. Um, who else? Holly Berry is Storm. Okay. Chris Evans is Captain America. I mean, come on. Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. You guys get my point. So without any further ado, oh wait. This video is um from Looper. So you can check this out on their channel. So I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay? I don't I don't own this video. Alright. So without any further ado, let's check it out. Okay? In about a three, two, one. They say there are no new ideas in Hollywood. And to that we say, good. After all, why waste time coming up with a bad new idea when you can just remake a classic old good idea? If something was a hit once, chances are it'll be a hit again. Which is why Hollywood is currently working on another slew of awesome reboots. Here's a look at some upcoming remakes that will get you pumped. Little Shop of Horrors. The original 1960 version of Little Shop of Horrors was directed by Roger Corman and featured a brief appearance by a masochistic Jack Nicholson. What? This is gonna hurt you more than it is me. Oh, I thought that was Here it comes. The film inspired an off-Broadway musical, which in turn gave birth to the 1986 movie directed by Frank Oz. Now, it looks like Tinseltown is opening up Little Shop for a third time. Deadline calls the new project a fresh version of the 30-year-old Frank Oz-directed film. But on this go-around, Greg Berlanti will be the one shouting action. If Berlanti's name sounds familiar, that's because he's the producer behind TV hits like Riverdale, The Flash, and Supergirl. Hey, if anyone can defeat Audrey too, it's the Maid of Might. The Fly. The Fly. If you're a horror fan, you know the original Fly starring Vincent Price hit theaters back in 1958. No, I didn't see that one. I saw the other one. And in 1986, David Cronenberg decided to give the tale its own grotesque it spin, gross. casting it Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis in one of the nastiest monster movies ever yep, made. Disgusting. Now, it looks like J.D. Dillard might very well create his own insect monstrosity. In March 2017, Variety reported that the up-and-coming director is in talks for The Fly, coming off his critically acclaimed debut, Slight. Dillard told Slash Film that if he ends up directing the film, he'll be focusing on the characters and not the effects, saying, I think if you look at a lot of remakes, and the ones that may have not been as successful as others, I think oftentimes the wrong pieces are remade. White Men Can't Jump in 1992, Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes joined forces in the classic basketball comedy White Men Can't Jump, written and directed by Ron Shelton. The film was a major hit, earning over $90 million worldwide. So it's no wonder Hollywood is interested in a remake, with blackish showrunner Kenya Barris producing and writing. And if there's one thing we know from watching blackish, it's that he's got game. Does he think he can do better? Bring it on, bad boy! First Blood. We all know Rambo can survive in the woods, fight the Viet Cong, and shoot helicopters with explosive-tipped arrows. But can he sing and dance? Well, it looks like we're about to find out, as the action movie icon is headed to Bollywood. Starring up-and-coming actor Tiger Shroff, the First Blood remake will be titled Rambo. And according to Entertainment Weekly, the movie will follow the last surviving member of an elite covert unit of the Indian Armed Forces, who returns home to find that his land is in the midst of war. Oh Filming my. on Rambo has been delayed for now, but they do have a cool poster, so here's yeah, hoping it comes out soon. Charlie's Angels. 
The classic 1970s TV series Charlie's Angels was relaunched as a successful film series in 2000, but Sony apparently figures it's been long enough for yet another try, as a new big screen version is reportedly set for a 2019 release. Nobody has actually been cast in it yet, but Elizabeth Banks is set to direct, and Kristen Stewart and Lupita Nyong'o are rumored to be in the running for roles. That'd be good. The Cannonball Run Despite being critically panned, 1981's Cannonball Run became a cult hit, spawning a sequel thanks to a massive all-star cast that included everyone from Burt Reynolds and Roger Moore to Sammy Davis Jr. and Jackie Chan. Now it looks like the racers are revving up their engines again, as Universal is bringing the Cannonball Run back to theaters. According to Deadline, Thomas Lennon and Robert Ben Garrett of Night to the Museum fame might write the script, while Dodgeball director Rawson Thurber is attached as well. Here's hoping they somehow tie Captain Chaos into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Help is on the way! Justice will triumph! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hell no. Alien Nation. The 1988 film Alien Nation was a big enough hit that it spawned a spin-off TV series, so it makes sense that Fox might want to do a remake. However, according to director Jeff Nichols, his upcoming remake of Alien Nation isn't a remake at all, telling Screen Crush it doesn't really have anything to do with the original. Turns out, Nichols and Fox decided to slap the Alien Nation label on a totally unrelated project the director was developing, because why not? We don't know what the story is about. But at least the fans know what it's not about, so that's something, right? Flash Gordon In 2015, it was announced that Matthew Vaughn, the guy behind Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class, and both Kingsman films, would be remaking Flash Gordon. There's just one problem, though. Guardians of the Galaxy. Vaughn told Collider, The only problem with Flash Gordon is Guardians kind of stole what I would have liked to have done with it. As a result, the upcoming Flash Gordon film has been delayed while Vaughn tries to figure out how to do it. Good luck, Matt. What the fuck? Nosferatu. Before Twilight, before Blade, there was Nosferatu. The first full-length vampire movie starred Max Schreck as the rat-like Count Orlock an undead demon who sent audiences into hysterics in 1922. Nearly a century later, the film is set to be remade by the witch director Robert Eggers, starring the witch actress Anya Taylor-Joy and famed creature specialist Doug Jones as the vampire. Just wow. when the film will go into production is up in the air, but we can't wait to see it when it finally arrives. Pet Cemetery. <gasps> well, According yeah. to Variety, Paramount is planning to remake the classic Stephen King story, Pet Cemetery. Uh -huh. With Starry Eyes directors Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Widmeyer set to direct, no word yet on who is going to star in it, but given the spotty track record of recent King adaptations, here's hoping this one is more like it and less like The Dark Tower. Yet another King remake? It's really gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, yes it is. Logan's Run. It won a special Oscar for its visual effects, but in the four decades since Logan's Run's release, the movie has been largely forgotten by mainstream audiences. Directed by Michael Anderson, this sci-fi film was set in a futuristic society where people are executed once they reach their 30th birthday. Well, no one has to die at 30! You can live! It's a sci-fi premise that's begging for a modern take, and we'll soon get a remake courtesy of Simon Kinberg who wrote X-Men Days of Future Past and X-Men Apocalypse. No word on who will star, but according to Deadline, they may make the lead a woman this time around, so it should be interesting to see what direction they head with it. Highlander Among immortal swordsmen, there can be only one. But if we're talking about movies about immortal swordsmen, well, that's a totally different story. There have been multiple live-action Highlander movies, a couple of TV series, and a cartoon. And now it looks like Lionsgate is finally moving forward with the long-awaited remake of the 1986 cult classic, with John Wick director Chad Stahelski attached. And hey, no matter what happens, it's guaranteed to be better than Highlander 2. Fantastic Voyage It's one of those science fiction classics that's largely been forgotten by modern-day audiences, starring Raquel Welch and Donald Pleasance, the 1966 hit Fantastic Voyage follows a group of scientists who shrink down to microscopic size, climb inside a miniature submarine, and set sail inside a comatose patient, hoping to save him from a brain clot. It's a pretty cool premise, one that's just perfect for a remake. 
And fortunately for sci-fi fans, Guillermo del Toro is the man who will bring this tiny story to the big screen. Originally, the movie was supposed to hit theaters in 2019, but production was paused so that del Toro could focus on promoting The Shape of Water. Things appear to be back on track now, though, so assuming this really is the Oscar winner's next project, this sci-fi adventure will definitely be worth the wait. Flight of the Navigator Tron wasn't the only cult sci-fi hit Disney released in the 80s. They also put out Flight of the Navigator, which was about a kid who is abducted by aliens and implanted with all sorts of secret knowledge that the government desperately wants their hands on. Now, Lionsgate and the Henson Company are teaming up for a new adaptation, and after briefly considering Colin Trevorrow in 2012, they're hiring Joe Henderson, the showrunner behind Lucifer, to pen the screenplay. And with the Henson Company's involvement, we've got our fingers Muppets? crossed that we might get to see a few cool puppets. You're very lucky, slave. Only the Emperor he don't look cool, he look creepy. Essence. Okay, maybe not. But hopefully we'll at least get Paul Rubens back as the wisecracking computer. And don't forget to feed Cruiser! To all these patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on the sesame seed bun. Whoa! <laughs> Cleopatra Jones. While not as famous as Pam Greer, Tamara Dobson left her mark on the black exploitation genre with Cleopatra Jones, a kick-ass 1973 film about a woman who works as a supermodel as a cover for her real job, spying for the US government. It's a pretty mm. fun premise and perfect for a remake. And that's why Warner Brothers has hired Misha Green, creator of the WGN show Underground, to pen a script and create what Deadline calls the female answer to James Bond. Sounds promising. Word? West Side Story While it might not begin tonight, production on a brand new West Side Story will start in the very near future. This remake of the 1961 classic will be directed by Steven Spielberg, making his first musical. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Spielberg has been wanting to direct this film for decades, and now he's teaming up with screenwriter Tony Kushner to make his dream come true. Spielberg and Kushner previously worked together on Lincoln and Munich, and as Kushner has won an Emmy, a Tony, and the Pulitzer, we can safely assume the script is in capable hands. As for the cast, the filmmaker sent out a casting call in January 2018, searching for actors ages 15 to 25 to play the lead parts of Tony, Maria, Anita, and Bernardo. And thankfully, unlike the original film, Spielberg plans on casting the lead Latino characters with actual Latino actors, which is cool. 48 Hours Hot off Saturday Night Live, Eddie Murphy made his feature film debut with 48 Hours, which basically created the buddy cop genre while becoming a box office smash. The action comedy is widely considered an 80s classic, but now it's getting a 21st century spin. Jared Carmichael is set to star and co-write the project, while brothers Josh and Ben Safdie, who previously directed the critically acclaimed films Heaven Knows What and Good Time, will be behind the cameras. Rabbit. When it comes to body horror, it doesn't get any better or bloodier than the work of David Cronenberg. Though most of his films are famous, back when he was still rising through the ranks, he directed the forgotten 1977 cult flick Rabbit, which presaged the whole zombie plague strain of films. And now it's going to be remade by Jen and Sylvia Soska. Known to horror fans as the Twisted Twins, the duo is set to begin filming the Rabid remake in April 2018, with what IndieWire calls a modern and relevant spin from the woman's perspective. We sure can't wait. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon. I keep forgetting this video was a year old. Um, I still haven't seen the new uh, remade Pet Cemetery. I'm a little bit upset with myself about that, but I heard it was good, so I'm definitely going to check it out soon. Um. And as you guys know from the trailer, it chapter two is coming out later on this year. And uh, I'm kind of excited for uh, Charlie's Angels whenever they start casting and they give us a trailer. So I'm going to tease the trailer, whatever. Because uh, that was my childhood. Like, I loved Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. That was a good ass movie. And the, and the first one before that one. Like, but I first saw um, Full Throttle when I was a kid. DVD. I mean, come on. Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu. Drew Barrymore, come on, come on. They were perfect for that role. And then Bernie Mac as Bosley, RIP. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment below. Do you agree? If you're excited for some of these movies in this list, because I, I didn't really hear, I've never really heard of none of these movies before, so, you know. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're excited for some of these remakes and uh, 
Also, anything that I can react to for you guys next, let me know on that in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram and hit that notification bell so you guys can know that video up and loaded. It's Black Shaw. Stay tuned.